but it's not just that for me. I'm a, I'm a sports fan also, and we don't see heavyweights that are built like these two very often. The, the heavyweight division in mixed martial arts is full of really tough, really impressive guys, but oftentimes not the elite athletes, not the best athletes in the world, because if you're big enough at six foot eight, to be playing in the NBA, you might be playing in the NBA, you might be playing in the NFL. If either of these guys were born in the United States of America, they would be NFL football players. If they'd been born in the UK, they'd be representing the, the, the rugby team or something like that. So we have a heavyweight matchup featuring two elite, like top 1% of the 1% athletes on the planet. Not just fighters, but athletes, and that's another reason it gets me so excited. You know, and the other thing as well is that there are no common opponents here, right? So it really is a complete unknown. Like, we know what Nganu is capable of, the power, the speed, his ability to cover distance and take people's heads off is a, a terrifying thing to watch. But then on the other side, you see Henan Fajeda doing the same thing with those long arms and legs, the speed at which he's able to get across the smart cage. I, I, just, I just cannot wait for this fight. And the co-main event, obviously, is going to be a, an absolute barn burner. Difference-making power with one punch for the, the main event fighters, for the co-main event fighters, the two hardest hitting men on the planet and the two hardest hitting women on the planet on one card in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. I'm not gonna put you between these two behemoths. All right, the battle of the giants. We're gonna have, we're gonna have the problem child. Jake Paul is actually the, the perfect person to put between these two monsters. Yeah, go ahead and call out Hena. Okay, first to the stage, the problema, Hena for Hena. And making his mixed martial arts return, the predator, Francis Ngannou. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Francis. 